This is the new Basis Encore W3 wireless earbud. Unboxing, initial pairing, first impressions, and I'll be giving you my honest opinion about this and whether should you be getting it. Hi there, my name is Johnny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I mainly focuses on testing and reviewing affordable wireless earbuds and help you to decide before you hit that buy button. So without further ado, let's get into today's coverage. Now, the Basis Encore W3 wireless earbud, I mean, I'll just call it W3, was released very recently in Singapore on 1st October, if I'm not wrong, yep, 2021. Uh, via the basis official uh, online store uh, with Shopee Singapore and Lazada Singapore. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think it retails for around 37 US dollar. That's around 50 Sing dollars. Um, but on the launch date itself, on the launch day itself, uh, there was some special promotion. So my fingers were quick. They worked very quickly. They ordered one and I ordered one on the same day and it arrived at my doorstep within a week very fast. I've actually been testing the Basis W3 um, for a couple of days. Now, before you go and hit the buy button, here are the top three things you need to consider first. And of course, towards the end of the video, I'll be including some audio clips so that you, know, you can actually see the microphone quality of the W3. Now, let's go through some of the basic features. The W3 comes in two colors. The one I have here is purple. Another color is actually white color. Um, there are actually touch sensors on the earbuds itself. It's on the curved area of the earbuds. So the W3 actually comes with uh, physical noise cancellation with MEMS microphone. It actually supports single or dual earbuds mode. Um, it actually uses this is micro USB charging port. And in each earbud, there's a 10 millimeter coil to produce the audio. And it's actually rated by Basis to be IPX4 waterproof. The very first thing I notice about the W3 is the design. Why do I say that? Because it looks exactly the same as the AirPods Pro. Uh, but let me just grab an AirPods, put it side by side. They look very identical. The only difference would be, of course, you know, Basis has the logo, the AirPods Pro, there's no logo, um, the location, the positioning of the LED light, okay, you can see from the front, you know, AirPods Pro is higher, W3 is lower, and at the back, W3 has no physical button, right, it, difference of the charging port, AirPods Pro uses lightning, the W3 uses a micro USB. So now the material itself is actually ABS material, it's matte finishing, it has kind of like a rubbery surface. Alright, so um, when I first held, my very first impression when I first held the W3 uh, in my palm, I don't feel that it's very well built, it feels kind of low quality, uh, there's a, kind of like a indent, I mean when you press it, it, it will actually, you know, go in a little bit, you know, not very well built. The lid, the cover itself, the lid, the hinge, it doesn't have any spring. Uh, and it also wobbles a little bit. I'm not too sure you can see it. It also wobbles a little bit when you close it. But of course, I mean, that doesn't really matter much to me. When we look at the earbuds, all right, so these are the earbuds. Let's have a closer look. So they actually have, they have a shiny surfacing. Right, there's a shiny finishing, which is different from the casing itself. It feels lightweight, right? And of course, the earbuds, they are exactly the same as the AirPods Pro. See here. Very similar design to the AirPods Pro. Okay. But of course, let's put things aside and let's talk about, you know, the very first thing which you will need to consider about the W3 and that is actually the battery life. Now, on my own testing, the Basis W3, they actually lasted around 3.5 hours 
on just purely music listening at 100% volume. Now, when it comes to talk time, the W3, they lasted around two and a half hours. Uh, phone calls, video calls, and webinars, Zoom, Skype, etc. Now, if we talk about mixed usage, right, the W3 will last around three hours, and that is considering that we use it two hours for music at 100% volume and one hour of talk time. Now, the case itself will provide another additional 15 hours, giving you a total of around 18 hours of usage. When it's charging, the LED light on the front, it will actually start to blink in white color. When it's fully charged, it will change to a solid white LED. Let's move on to the second thing to consider, and that is actually the day-to-day -day functionality. The initial Bluetooth pairing experience with my iPhone was pretty easy, um, even though it doesn't come with fast pairing feature, which means to say that the moment I open the lid, it doesn't initiate the pairing. I will, it doesn't initiate the pairing. I will need to actually take out both earbuds before the pairing mode will kick in. So there's something to take note. And it was the same pairing experience with my Android phone, my Oppo Reno. Pretty easy as well. And of course, subsequent Bluetooth reconnection with my iPhone or my Android phone was pretty quick. It took around two seconds uh, after I actually take out the earbuds. Now, the W3 actually doesn't come with multi-device uh, feature. So it means to say that it cannot, uh, be con it cannot be connected more than one device. Now, the type of built-in touch control on the, on the earbuds itself are quite well thought. It comes with pause and play, you know, next track, previous track. It also comes with volume up and volume down. You know, and this is actually very good because it actually allows me to minimize uh, contact with my phone whenever I'm actually uh, listening to music. The W3 are actually quite comfortable to wear in my ear, as you can see. I wear both. Okay, uh, and this is considering that the fact that the design is actually very similar to the AirPods Pro. So I'll actually take out the AirPods Pro as well, so you can have a look, right? Okay, so this is the W3 on my left, and this is the AirPods Pro on my right. So you can see that both, you know, just similar to the AirPods Pro, the stem is actually pointing out, sticking out from your ear, and it's actually pointing towards my mouth direction. Now I'll come to uh, the mic quality later on towards the end of the video, so that you can have a listen. All right, I'll, I won't really touch on that. Okay. Now, um, the earbuds itself of the W3, it actually, actually has a pretty short ear tip, you can see here. So it actually doesn't go very deep into your ear canal, right? It just goes slightly inside, um, so it doesn't really cause a lot of uh, discomfort. Now, the one good thing about the W3 when you're wearing it is that it doesn't trap heat, neither does it actually uh, cause any ear fatigue. I guess this is actually due to, you know, the design of the earbuds whereby it's it's very similar to the AirPods Pro. So um, I feel very comfortable wearing them for like three to four hours straight. Next, let's talk about the noise cancellation because this is something which Basis actually talks a lot whereby it actually has physical noise cancellation. Now, the very first thing I notice immediately when I put on both earbuds is the amount of noise they are able to block out. Now, what I mean by that is that now, when you're wearing ear, wireless earbuds with ANC, that means they come with active noise cancellation. Now, usually they will be in a neutral mode, which means to say that transparency, neither the active noise cancellation feature is being, is being activated. They're actually in a neutral state. So I will only be talking about the neutral state, all right, and how much noise they are able to block out. The W3, even though it doesn't have any built-in active noise cancellation, it only has physical noise cancellation, it was able to reduce a lot of sound, you know, as compared to, I mean, I have the AirPods Pro, I have the Jabra Elite 85T. The W3 actually blocks out a lot of noise, you know, as compared to the AirPods Pro and the Jabra 85T in neutral state. And that is very surprising to me, you know, 
And even when I'm comparing to other uh, wireless earbuds, all right, like the QCY, the M dots, uh, and another basis, the WM01, which is very popular, the W3 actually blocks out a lot more noise. You know? And why do I say that? It's because my house is pretty near to uh, a very busy main road. It's actually an interjunction. So there's a lot of buses and you know, heavy vehicles. It's a very um, busy intersection. And plus I also have fighter jets flying past. You know, some of you, you watched my previous video, you would know. You know, sometimes there'll be planes flying past over my house, you know, and it blocks out everything. So they was able to reduce a lot of this. You know, of course, um, higher pitch sound would still be able to come through, you know, like the phone ringing, the bicycle bells, the car horns, this would still be able to come in. Or if let's say, you know, someone rings my doorbell, I'll still be able to hear them. Um, but, you know, it's really very good. Uh, I'm pretty surprised by the amount of noise the W3 is actually able to reduce with its physical uh, noise cancellation feature. Now, when it comes to gymming and jogging, working out, etc., um, Basis actually rate the W3, all right, the earbuds to be IP55, which means to say it's both water and dust resistance. Now, this is one of the very few wireless earbuds I see at this price range to be IP55, right? So what it means is that um, it's dust resistance, not only that, but you know, you don't need to worry about sweat. Okay, so this means that the W3, it's actually very safe to wear if you want to go like triking or you want to go hiking. All right, you want to go, maybe you want to wear it for jogging through the woods and this kind of stuff, you know, it's perfectly fine. You don't need to, let's say, if it accidentally drop out, it hits the floor, it hits the mud, it hits the dust. You don't need to worry about it malfunctioning, all right? But of course, again, uh, because it's actually only IP55, <clears throat> it's not IP57 or it's not IP58, Please do not wear the W3 earbuds with you to the shower room because it's not able to take that type of water at it, all right? You need to get something that is IP57 or 58, you know, in order to bring it to the bathroom with you to shower together with it. You know, I mean, some of you, I know you would like to listen to music, you know, when you're actually showering, but not the W3. Now, um, would it be alright to wear the W3 for more high intensity workout, you know, like you're going for your, I'm not too sure, um, you're going for your HIIT, you're going for your Muay Thai and this kind of stuff, um, a more higher intensity with wider range of movement, I wouldn't really recommend the W3 because uh, there were some moments whereby when I was moving my jaw area, um, pretty, I was making some big movement with my jaw area and this kind of stuff. The W3 actually was, it actually kind of like moved slightly out of position. So um, for that, if you really want to use the W3, you know, uh, for more intense workout, I would recommend you to get some ear hooks or ear wings uh, so that, you know, it's more secure in your ear and, you know, it actually reduces the risk of it falling out midway through your, through your exercise and you, you know, you're so engrossed in your workout, it, you didn't realize that it dropped out, hit the floor, and then you just step on it, crushing it, okay? I would like to actually mention a couple of bummers uh, which I encountered on a day-to-day -day basis when I was actually testing out the W3. The first one is actually the touch control. Now, how do I put it is that whenever I put on my earbuds, all right, I would usually play the music first, you know, so I, once the, the earbuds are connected with my iPhone, I will hit the play button, the music is going through the earbuds, uh, and then I'll put it on, so that as the music is playing, I can hear the environment noise, and then I can actually adjust my earbuds accordingly to get the correct seal. Sometimes, um, I'm not able to get the right seal just by holding on the stem, I'll need to grab the head, all right? I need to grab the head, and this actually activate the touch control, 
sometimes it will pause the music, sometimes it will skip the track, uh, and sometimes, you know, um, all these kind of things will happen. Now, the second one is there seems to be a technical issue or a bug between single earbud usage and dual earbud usage. Now, what I mean by that is that there are several times whereby I wanted to order something, like I go to the coffee shop, I go to a cafe, I just wanted to order a quick coffee, you know, and I would actually take out one of the earbuds out from my ear uh, with the music still playing in on the other one, and then I will place my order, a very quick one, make my payment, take my coffee, and then I'll put it back. The moment I put it back, of course the earbuds will resync. But after it's resync, I realized that there is a slight audio delay. The earbud which I just put back, it will actually play the music half a second slower. So it's like the person is singing, but you know, like this will sing first and then this will be like maybe a split second later. So there seems to be an, an echo. The thing is, is that sometimes the earbuds, they will auto-correct, sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't, it, if it doesn't correct this audio delay, I will usually take it out, put it back into the case, and then I'll put it back again. And that will actually rectify the problem. Now, the last one is actually the Bluetooth connectivity. This is very weird. When I was using it for a couple of days, the Bluetooth connection with my iPhone would actually suddenly cut out randomly. I mean, I could be sitting at home and suddenly the Bluetooth just cuts off. Or I could be just walking along the street and then the Bluetooth just cuts off. I could be sitting in an empty bus and then the Bluetooth just cuts off for a few seconds and then it comes back on again. Um, I mean, I've tried to reset the W3 quite a few times, um, but the issue is still there. So I, I believe that this could be uh, this could be a technical issue, which is within my W3. I mean, I, I can't speak for the rest, right? Uh, but of course, do let me know if you if you do or do not face this issue with your own uh, W3. Let's move on to the third and final major thing to consider, and that is actually the sound quality. Now. The W3 actually uses a 10 millimeter koi and it actually supports SBC and AAC. Now for music, I would say the overall sound quality of the W3 is pretty okay. Sound stage, I mean there's nothing much to shout about. In terms of bass, it doesn't give you those crazy heavy bass, but I'll say that the bass is sufficient enough so that your music doesn't sound too flat. In terms of vocals, they are very, they are pretty crips, pretty front. Overall, I would say that it's very average, uh, but it's good enough for casual listening. When it comes to watching videos on uh, like YouTube or you know Netflix, uh, there's no sound delay, whether it's on my iPhone or my Android or my laptop or on my PC. There's no issues in terms of uh, audio delay. When it comes to gaming, the sound effect latency is pretty obvious to the point whereby the sound delay is like half a second. You know? uh, so for me, I personally, I won't really recommend the W3 for gaming, you know, even if you're like me, a very casual gamer. Finally, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'll be including a variety of sound clips to demonstrate the microphone quality of the W3. So do remember to put on your headphones. Alright, so the very first clip I'll be demonstrating the microphone quality is using the W3 indoors. So, hi everyone, this is a mic test on the Basis Encore W3 wireless earbud. This is a mic test on the Basis Encore W3 wireless earbud. I'm currently indoors, so let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. Now, the next clip is to demonstrate uh, the microphone quality of the W3 when you're trying to have a conversation or a phone call inside a bus or MRT or inside a train. Have a listen. Thank you. 
W three minus zero five. This is a part test. This is W three minus zero five. I'm coming to class. So this is how we want to summarize this part on the top quarter bus. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now the next one is to demonstrate the microphone quality of the W3 in a coffee shop. Have a listen. Hi everyone, this is a mic test on the basis and core W3 while it's here back. This is a mic test on the basis and core W3 while it's here back. I'm currently in the coffee shop. So let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And the last one is for many of us who are still working from home, you might be considering to get the W3 to use it with your Zoom or with your Skype or with your, you know, your Google Meet. All right. Have a listen. Testing, testing, two, three. So this is how your voice will sound like on the W3 one. Here back via Zoom. So what do you think of the voice quality? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. All right. So, at the end of the day, are the Basis and call W3 one is here, but worth it. Should you buy it or should you get something else? Well, the thing is, is for a pair of earbuds which looks similar to AirPods Pro, I would say that it's not too shabby, not to the point of being trash. But at 37 US dollars, like at 37 dollars, there are actually many other earphones or you know earbuds out there which sounds way better and has way better call quality and microphone quality compared to the W3 such as the WM01 from Basis as well the QCY and the Halo right but still I mean I, I won't stop you from buying it from getting it if you want but personally I will actually recommend you to you know get something else or save your cash. And there you have it. I hope you enjoy my personal coverage of the Encore W3 by Basis. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please remember to share this video with your friends who are considering the W3 as well. My name is Johnny and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.